Last month, at the start of alligator hunting season, two friends pulled a massive, one-eyed, 12-foot, 477-pound gator from the Jordan River on the Mississippi coast. John Lander likened the gator to a dinosaur and called it a scene out of Jurassic Park. The feats may not have been possible if Hurricane Laura or Marco had come closer to making landfall in Mississippi. Initially, we thought that uh, the weather from Hurricane Laura was going to impact the season. Uh, looks like that has been minimal. As a matter of fact, Alligator Program Coordinator Ricky Flint says this season may see some of its highest harvest numbers. Part of that is because hunters are becoming more skilled at catching gators, some even turning it into a family affair. Brad Morbley and Melinda Letchworth's hunting parties each had young children along for the hunt. Officials say when they are patrolling the waters, they make sure groups have the right safety equipment, especially for children. They have children 12 or under. Uh, they must have a life jacket on at any time that the vessel is underway. Uh, we want to make sure that if they're operating their vessel at night, that they have the proper lights and navigation equipment. Uh, on board to be able to do that. Landers says when he made his prize catch, it took three hours to get it into the boat. And when they got it to shore, a tractor had to be used to move it. The 2020 alligator hunting season is over now, but not without a catch to be talked about until the next season begins. Marcus Hunter, 16 WAPT News.